So look, after about 10, 15 minutes, you notice we got a, a nice burn right across the top. It is smoking a lot, but that'll dissipate as it goes in the oven. We are ignited, so let's get, this, uh, let's get these pellets in the oven. Guys, you know what time it is? It is pizza time. So look, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, you gotta smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. We told you, you subscribe, and I'll stop saying that. So look, today is gonna be a fun show. It is pizza time at the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and I always get a little bit excited for that. You've seen me work a lot of these pizza ovens over the past year or so, and I've kind of landed on one brand that I feel just is priced right, hits the nail on all the heads, and always produces a good pie. And look, it is not hard to light, and it is also not a crazy pizza making experience. You know, some of these pizza ovens just cook pizzas too fast, in my opinion. 30 seconds, you're scraping there to turn it. You know, a minute goes by, you're looking in, you're seeing the crust burning, you're kind of getting in there, you're trying to turn it before you know it, the whole thing is burnt and the underneath is still not cooked. So look, that's where Pizziola comes in. I feel, again, man, that they are just the uh, just the right pizza oven, especially for a beginning pizza maker. And like I said, they are definitely priced right. I've worked a few different kind of models that you see here on the screen. I've worked wood burning models and pellet burning models. and they all have one thing in common they give you the a lot of time to cook the perfect pizza so look man without further ado let's get up on the deck let's get this sucker fired up then i'm going to take you in the house and build up a pizza so one of the major draws for me into this uh, pizza oven maker is the uh, simplicity in lighting them two scoops of pellets then i get a fire starter and just cut it in half at that point what i'll do is just get the uh, basic torch i will light both of the uh both of the fire starters and i will just let it sit probably for about 10 15 minutes let the fire starters go out and let the pellet ignite all right look we will allow this to do its thing out here now let's go in the house and whip us up a pizza now I'm not gonna spend too much time on my pizza making skills or not therefore of too many skills, but I do wanna throw out a big thanks to Corsi's Pizza. It is the local pizzeria in the neighborhood. They happen to watch the show. I told them I was gonna do up some pizza pies and they threw me out some pizza dough and some semolina. Yeah. So thanks guys. So look, back to my not very good pizza making skills. I will try to keep this one round and we will go with a, a whole milk polio cheese all grated up fresh and there is no other. This is kind of a, a slant on a, a white pie that I like to uh, that I like to make after the uh, polio goes on. We have some Italian seasoning and a little basil. And of course, granulated garlic's gotta go down. Of course, gotta have that ricotta cheese. We are gonna put some dollops down on the, uh, on the pizza. The pizza. And from there, my little slant is gonna be some fresh bacon bits. So look, the pizza oven has been going for about 10, 15 minutes. We got that stone up into that 400 to close to 500 range. And let's make a pizza, yeah. You know, one of these times I should just uh, cut, all the, uh, cut all the beginnings and the ends out and just make the pizza from start to finish in the oven with no cuts so you guys could see exactly how long it takes. But I'm thinking this took about four to five minutes. Now every about 45 seconds I pulled that uh, pulled that hood to get a peek and you could see we are smoking on that fire man it is hot now this pizza oven's not gonna get that crazy 900 degrees to me, that's ridiculous, but it'll get up into that 600, maybe, maybe close to 650 range, and that stone seems to level out about that 500 range. Yeah. So look, I'm just gonna work this oven by not even really putting that, uh, putting that cover on because I could see that crust is just browning a lot, man. So it is just gonna stay off. I'll put it back on on the end. 
as we are looking to make sure that bottom gets cooked without not burning that crust too much. You know, it is a uh, it is a very relaxing uh, experience with this oven, man. There is not much hustle and bustle, that is for sure. That is until I put the uh, pizza in and try to work the cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's when things get out of hand. So look, I gotta say, man, that pizza is looking good, man. You know, if I quartered out this dough, I could probably get a thinner crust of pizza and also get one to the exact size that I need. Oh, yeah. Come on guys, that's not bad right there. Alrighty, and here we are. We had to bring this inside. We do have some more storms blowing in, so I didn't want to get caught outside, so here we are. So look, we did get a little, uh, little burnt here on this one end, but that is on me. These pizzas probably took about four and a half, five minutes a pie, and when you're trying to get the snap and moving cameras around, that can happen. But I am telling you, man, these are easy peasy to work. If you didn't have no cameras and you put the pie in, just sit there and let it go for about a minute. You do have a little bit of a window on that, uh, on this pizza oven. So you could peek in and just let it go for a minute, then open it up, get your thing in, pull it out, check it out. I mean, you got plenty of time to make the perfect pizza. My stone got up to about 450, maybe 500 degrees. Two pies, I only filled up the uh, pellets one time. So we had one to get the pizza going, and then I had to do one more refill. Let's give this a uh, quick slice. Not sure if you can hear that crunch, but these have been sitting for a uh, for a little bit. The uh, bottom is perfect. Let's dive right in and cheers. All right, guys. So look, here is the uh, verdict on these pizzas right here. Probably the uh, the best pizzas that I've made in a while. If you go back and check my uh, videos, and I'll link them up top and link them down below. I struggled on making some of the pizzas, not me, but just the in the making of the pies. I tried to do them outside, a lot of humidity, or it was cold out, and that definitely does not play with the uh, play with the dough too well. I brought it in the house here, and it definitely seemed to play out easier for myself. And of course, the pizza oven, four or five minutes of pie, you got plenty of time to maneuver and do what you need to do to get the perfect pie. So look, I've said it in the past, and I'm gonna say it again, these are about the best pizza ovens that I've used. And again, I've used probably five or six of them. And that is my opinion, as they are just easier for me to work than some of the other ones. So that is it. I'm gonna close out this show. I got all information down below on this pizza oven here. If you wanna check it out, I definitely recommend it. And until next time, we will see you soon.